Well, here we are, guys. We are four days away from starting the epic adventure of the Appalachian Trail, and this is the gear video or the clothes that I'm going to be wearing on the trail, the obligatory video that every hiker out there makes, even though we pretty much all take the same uh, clothes. So we're going to go over all the clothes that I'm going to be wearing on the trip. Keep in mind that at the beginning of the trip, we start in the winter, and then when the spring comes around, all the winter gear goes home. I'll be carrying less weight in the summer and then once I'm getting closer to Katarin, let's see how the weather behaves. I may have to bring a few of the layers up back. So let's start from our feet and work our way all the way up to the top of our head. By the way, I'm wearing a hat. Why? Because I'm letting my hair grow for the Shikoko Henro pilgrimage and right now we're in the middle station between when it's neither good nor bad yet. But before we go into today's uh, gear video, roll that intro, please. So welcome back guys, my name is Efren Gonzalez, I'm a travel adventure vlogger, or at least that's what I think I am. I worked for 20 years on television, I've done a few of the seven summits, Camino de Santiago in South America, I've done the Inca Trail, the Lost City, I also walked from uh, Canterbury all the way down uh, to Rome. So let's go over all the gear that I have laid out here, and let's start with footwear. So let's start with our feet. I'm uh, gonna use the Ultras Olympus uh, 4. I've been using this pair of shoes uh, for training here in Miami and they have worked out excellent. I really love the cushion here, plenty of padding. I also have this insult from uh, Superfeet that I've used on all of my Caminos and on my 2000 kilometer trek from uh, Canterbury to Rome. After the shoes, let's move on to my uh, pair of flip flops. I'm from Miami, so you know that I need this. I will be using this when I get to camp, also maybe for a couple of river crossings and especially when I'm uh, in towns and I need to rest my feet. Instead of using uh, my shoes, I'm going to switch over to this. Maybe I wash them, let them uh, dry. So I have a, a second pair. I can also use them if I have to walk on the trail. Although I don't want to walk with this for like 15 miles with a 20 plus uh, pound backpack. Moving on to uh, socks, a very important subject. Luckily for me, I'm not prone to blisters, but if you've seen all my Camino videos, you know that I do take care of my feet. At some points, I even put Vaseline on them, something that I don't do anymore once I switch from uh, hiking boots over to trail runners. So I'm taking two pairs of uh, darn tough socks. These are the same ones that I've been using for the last few years, so they're very good. I guess they're darn tough and they do last uh, forever. I'm also taking a pair of uh, waterproof socks because, you know, you know, the AT, very wet, no rain, no pain, no mane. I used them on the Via Francigena, they worked out great. Let's give them a try here on the Appalachian Trail. And from the socks, let's move up a bit and let's talk about the layer that I'm gonna be wearing uh, when I'm in camp. I don't think I'm gonna need this when I'm walking because you know, as you're walking, your feet, your legs warm up. It might be the warmest part of your entire body because they're constantly working. But when I do get to camp, I like to wear this and maybe put a shorts on top. And also if it's a very cold night, then I can just put them on and uh, just throw my quilt over. So now that we're done with the thermal layer and we move up another degree, we get to uh, the underwear. And which pair of underwear am I taking? Well, the same ones that I've been using, well, not the same one, the same brand that I've been using since my trip to Kilimanjaro in 2010. I love them so much, and those are, you guessed it, the Ex Officios. Great pair of uh, underwear. I didn't know they were so popular in the trekking community. Like I said, I've been using them since 2010, and they're just amazing. I do even use them on my day-to-day -day, uh, life. 
So moving up to my pants, I will be taking a pair of pants that I used for the last couple of years already. They're very good, they're excellent. The legs come off. I don't like hiking in shorts, especially when I'm out in the wilderness and there are ticks all around. So I'm also just to cover my legs from the sun and from the environment, the dirt, you know. But even though I'm taking hiking uh, pants, I'm also taking a pair of regular uh, shorts that I will be using when I get to camp and I just want to relax and maybe those uh, pants are wet from a rainy day or also when I'm in camp and I just want to walk around and I don't want to look like a hiker which is something that I don't think I'll be able to pull off then I can wear these shorts also if I'm doing laundry I can wear this while I wash uh, all my clothes I could do this while I'm commando with my shorts so I can uh, wash both my uh, sets of uh, underwear Moving on to my shirts, I'm bringing three pairs of uh, shirts, two for while I'm hiking and one for when I'm in, uh, in town. And those are two pairs of Columbia PFG shirts, professional fishing gear. Those are the ones that I could get here in Miami. Those are the ones that I've been using again for the last uh, few years. They're great. They cover all the way down to your wrist. So they, they're good for uh, sun protection. They wick the moisture. They dry super fast. And on top of that, I'm also bringing just a regular cotton shirt. My merch, by the way, which you can uh, buy if you like to support this uh, channel, this expedition. This one is, uh, what you mean walk to Maine? I'm going to be wearing a few of those with different slogans as I make my way up uh, the trip north to Katahdin. So if you want to support the expedition and the channel, you can purchase them in the link that's uh, down uh, below. Taking a pair of gloves with me for those uh, cold mornings and at night when I'm in camp, they are not waterproof, but they do come with this uh, shell that you can throw on top of it and it makes them uh, waterproof and wind resistant. These are the same pair of gloves that I've been using since I was living in LA since 2014. So I did all the mountains there in LA, all the Caminos, the Via Francigena, Aconcagua a couple of times, so I may actually need a new pair. Uh, moving on to my buff. Here it is, I'll be wearing this buff in different configurations. Remember in 2017 when I, for the first time, I had to wear one of these in the Camino and I felt so weird, I felt out of place. Little did I know that three years later there was going to be a global pandemic where everybody had to wear a face mask. So yes, I'm taking this one. This is the one that I took on the Via Francigena and on the last uh, three Caminos. And I just really love it. You can also get this on my store. I have a two layer system to deal with my torso in the winter. And it's the same one that I've been using for the longest time. I have a fleece jacket, a layer. This will be like my mid layer. I can actually walk with this if it's a cold morning. I don't have to wear like my down jacket because you know when you're in camp you do need it but then as you start to get moving as you start to get going then this is pretty much all you need maybe on top of this i will throw the poncho if it's a rainy day yes i'm taking a poncho i'm not taking like a rain jacket and rain uh, pants i really love my poncho i'm gonna talk about that in a minute now on top of this as i mentioned i have the other layer which will be this uh, North Face uh, down jacket, I love this one. I got it for Elbrus in Russia, and I've been using it ever since. Even on the Via Francigena, at some points I was using it as a pillow. Very warm, very lightweight, and I think I will be sending this back as soon as uh, spring arrives because, you know, who needs all the extra bulk, you know? As far as uh, eyeglasses, you guys, recognize this pair i've been using this one for a long time already but i think it's time to retire it and start with a brand new one and i'm switching over to the jubo uh, vermont expedition uh, mountain glasses i've been seeing this in all my expeditions so i wanted to give them a try and i just really love that retro look that they have so and lastly will be my uh, hat, my old two trusty hat that I've been using ever since I started doing the Camino de Santiago videos. It has become a character in my channel. When I got rid of the one that uh, my original one at the top of the Grand San Bernard's Pass 
in the border between Switzerland and Italy, I heard an outcry from all my uh, followers about leaving uh, the hat behind. You know, it was overdue. I spilled some uh, sardine oil on it when I was walking in France and I had to uh, get rid of it. I thought they were discontinued, but once I got here back home, I found them once again in the store. So I'm bringing this one and I'm also bringing this uh, beanie for those uh, cold nights. So if I need to uh, sleep during a very cold night, I can put this on in combination now with my quilt. I would also be spraying all my gear, except for my underwear and my socks, with uh, bug repellent because the AT is notorious for all the ticks that they have over there. So this one uh, covers everything, it's odorless, and it has a uh, permethrin. Now, as I mentioned, I'm not taking uh, rain gear or rain jacket and pants. Instead, I'm opting for, uh, for a poncho. Ever since I did the Via Francigena, I switched over to a poncho and I haven't uh, looked back. I'm gonna carry it here very close to my backpack. So if it starts to rain, I can just pull it out that quickly. Just do like this action, kind of like if I'm skydiving. Uh, throw it over myself and it also covers all my electronics that are in front of me so even though the electronics are gonna go into their own Ziploc bags when it starts to rain this will be another layer of protection also this uh, poncho has an added benefit that it turns into a tarp so it's very durable material so I have a tarp here that I can use if it's raining and I just want to take a quick uh, break on the side of the path or if I wanna put it over my tent in case of a bad storm, or if in the end I decide just to ditch the tent and just start using a, a tarp. We'll see, I'm not making any promises. So yeah guys, that's it, that's all the gear. When it comes to the clothes that I'm gonna be wearing on my trip, as you can see, I have everything laid out here on the ground. I have some of my vlogging kit over here. I have my backpack, I have my tent. I mean, everything is just all over the place. I will do another video about the, the vlogging kit that I will be bringing with me. I'm dialing it in. I'm just gonna leave uh, the, the cable cam behind, something that I wanted to test it out, but maybe I'll try it out farther down the line. But I'll talk about that one on the next video.